okay now we have to learn about how to read data from an array so in the previous part we already learned about how to insert data into an array so now we have to read data from the array so if you if you want to read the entire array then you have to use a loop statement or if you want to if you want to read only one element from the array then you can use only a single statement suppose here in this array I put six numbers I comment this one this is because I already read the entire array using this for loop so this loop contain six numbers six integer values suppose I want to read I want to know about I want to print the third number in that array third number means it is it is comes to x of 2 x of 0 is the first number x of 1 is the second number and x of 2 is the third number so if I want to print I want to print the third number in that array I have to print the x of 2 element in that array so I can print like this print of third element in array is percentage d and we have to print out the x of x of tooth element okay so we can check it out compile the program compilation is success so run it so we have to enter six numbers I put the first number second number third number fourth number fifth number and final sixth number so here we got the output third element in the array is one so this is the zeroth index first index and second index that means the third element in that array is one okay so we can insert data into an array using its index also we can read data back from the array using the same index okay suppose if you want to read the entire array then you have to use a loop statement so if you if I want to read the if I want to print the entire elements in that array then I have to use a loop statement so here I comment this one and I use the same for loop so in this loop instead of reading element I have to print it out so we, we don't need this kind of statement so I comment that one so we have to change this one into yeah slash n so we have to first specify the index percentage d element is percentage d and now we have to specify the first integer here the first integer is index so variable i now we have to specify the value so the value is comes from the array x so x of i ok now we can check it out so I execute I compile the program now run it now we have to enter six numbers one two three four five and six okay now here is the output the zeroth element is six one element is five second element is two third element one fourth element is eight and fifth element is four so this is how we read data back from an array so we use the array index to insert data also we use the same array index to read data from the array